Hello, this is Nitro, and we are back with more Minecraft. Oh, wait, this is Forza. And today, I guess, instead of playing Minecraft, we're going to be seeing how well, or how easy it is to make designs or vinyls in the PC version of Forza, because I haven't touched it yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same or different, but I've developed a process on how we're going to do it. We're going to go to the auction house, and we're going to buy us a Mustang. We're going to see how easy it is to make a vinyl for it. So we're just going to sort by Ford, which is over here. And then we're going to go for a Mustang. Actually, we're going to leave that open because I don't want a specific Mustang. And we're going to just find an easy buyout. All right, so here's a nice Mustang. I think it looks pretty good for our purposes. We're just going to buy it out right here. I have the money for it. I have a whole 78,000 credits. And for those of you who have, haven't played Forza before, you're only rich once you have multi-millions. Alright. We're going to collect our car. And we're going to paint it. So I think what I have planned for it is probably going to be a black and yellow design. And we're going to do everything ourselves. We're not going to use custom vinyl groups or anything. And I'm going to switch to keyboard and mouse for this. I'm not going to be using the wired controller that I have. So, let's just go back to our garage. Garage. My cars. And we'll go filter by. Or wait, no. Sort by. And then we'll get recently added. And so, our Mustang's right here. So we're going to get in the car. And we're going to go... That's a pretty nice cinematic. I really like it, but I miss the old digital theme of the Forza Horizon 4. Anyway, upgrades and tuning. Uh, let's just go for, I don't know, some different rims, probably. Um, hmm. We got a lot of nice choices. I think since we're going with a black and yellow design, probably going to want some nice black rims. Those look pretty good. So let's buy and install. And we should be good. Alright. Uh, as far as arrow and appearance, I think... Yeah, I think none on the front. And we can go... I think we should keep the spoiler. Anyway. Install the setup, I think. Yeah. Alright. And that should be good. So now we're going to head over to Apply Vinyls. And here's our Mustang. So first we're going to want to paint it, actually. So we're going to paint it black. So we're going to go right over here. And then for the spoiler, I think we can do perhaps yellow on either side because I don't feel like placing... Oh, never mind. They won't let you do it. Rims, they're good as we are. The brake calipers, calipers will want yellow. Bright yellow. It's a little bit too bright, actually. Let's go one darker. That should be good. Save to current car. And now, so I'm thinking arrows on the sides, maybe. Like an arrow stripe pattern. But so far, it seems to be quick. Navigating the menus, other than that saving screen, seem to be, seems to be pretty fast. But that might just be my computer. But it's definitely better than the Xbox Series S, as far as that goes. Now, for adding a vial... Apply, okay, so you have to click enter, and now I guess I just pick a shape. Okay, I think I got it. We'll do a triple stripe like this, just right up the back, and then it will hit the window so we won't have to worry about what we're going to do on that side. All right, this looks good, so we're just going to stamp that right there. And then for the second arrow, we're going to move it down. We're going to scale it a tad differently. Maybe rotate it and enlargen it on both sides. And so the front one's going to be the largest one. I know that seems a tad odd, but I think it'll work for what we've got. Let's just fine-tune the rotation a bit. Uh, Maybe Skew can fix this. Yeah, Skew will probably fix the issues I'm having that you can probably see with the angle. I think that looks pretty even. I don't think we can get it perfect. So we're just going to do that. Now we're going to mirror these to the other side. And so now we have And so now we have it on either side. So I think that 
looks good for a basic starter design. Now I was thinking we could go for a custom logo, so we're going to save this to our current car, and I'm going to head over to the Vino Group Creator. So for our custom logo, I was thinking we could do a white or a yellow circle with two yellow arrows inside, so that way it'd match the car. We don't really want it to be too symbolic of anything because it's literally just a uh, decal. Let's go to recents, pick our most recent. So we're going to go for this. We're going to scale it up a tad so we have more room. And so now we're going to place our second vinyl, which is going to be the black circle. We're going to make it pretty big com in comparison to the other one. I think this looks good. So we'll hit enter on that. Now for the arrows, I just want basic arrows, not the weird ones that we had for the other. So we'll go for... I guess this would be best, and then we just cut out the bottom part. So let's scale this up. Oh right, I forgot. We can't do it. Actually, I think we can. Is there a way to... Yeah, I think there actually is a way. So if we go um, add a, vine, a mask shape, I believe that's it. And then we click this. That will void whatever it's over so we'll put that over our triangle once we're done that might not look clean you know what let's just go for a triangle and I'll try to place it as good as possible alright so that's our two arrows and now I'm going to try to do the mask shape this will be a little bit harder but I think we can do it so we're just gonna get one of these curved designs and try to get it touching the edge of the circle as perfectly as possible. That should be good. And then, is there a way to mirror it somehow? Um, flip horizontally, and then we're just gonna... Oh wait, we don't want to do that. Flip it horizontally again. I guess we'll just place another. Alright, so that's both the side margins placed. So now, we can just apply a mask shape of a square. And I hope these masks won't apply to the paint of the car or the decals we plan on placing after that. I'm sure they won't. But anyway, let's just expand this and then move it. I want to make it a tab wider and then just move it till you can't see anything. Um, that right one is encroaching a tad. We're going to have to fix that. Edit. And we're going to... Just trying to get to hug as best as possible without being visible. But it's not going to be perfect because you'd have to resize it just right. I feel like that's the best we can do. So we're going to save that. Alright, I uh, can't show you my vinyl group collection because some of those might be a little offensive to certain people. But I still will load it into our car. We're going to put it on the right side. Okay, so the masks do apply, but I think if we make it small enough, we won't have issues with that. I'll just have to remember for next time that masks do apply to other things. So we're not going to put it over the fuel cap, so this should be perfect. Maybe a tad smaller, just a tad bigger. And actually, you know what? Maybe. You know what, let's just make it smaller. There. That looks decent. Yeah, I think that looks great. So let's keep that. That's our logo. So now, I want to do a pattern on the hood. I'm not sure, I'm not very good at hood designs. I haven't really done that many. But, I assume we could just do... Actually, let me think about it. Okay, I got it. We're just going to do a triangle out of the front. So we're going to apply a shape, and this time we probably can use this weird looking triangle without worrying about... Actually, no, that might not be the right color, one sec. And so now we're just going to rotate it till it's pretty much level. I don't think it's going to be perfect, but we'll see what we can do. So we'll just put it like this, rotate a tad more, bring it to zero, 0 on the top right here. There we go. Wait. 
That's not centered at all. Why is zero zero so far off? That's kind of strange, but it definitely... Oh, and also the triangle has to be off-axis on its scaling, so... Yeah, this really is just... Everything is just working in our favor right now. So, I guess we just have to find the perfect rotation and centering for it to look right. Alright, so the rotation looks decent, and it looks pretty centered. I definitely don't like the Forza vinyl design process in general, but it definitely seems a tad easier on PC. I'll, uh, we will have final thoughts at the end, though. So now for the front design. I think what we could do... I don't want to give it a mustache, like nothing here. But we could give it a yellow part just around this area. That might look good. So let's just add a square to see how this will work. I'm not sure how this will affect the uh, car. So let's just bring it down in scale. And so... Yeah, this will be a tad difficult, but it does seem to bend around the car a tad. So we're going to scale it up a tad, bring it down. That looks good. And then we're going to widen it. All right, so that's all we can do for this side. Let's keep that. Now for the right side, we're going to add a, I guess, another square for now. And we're going to try to get to hug the left side as best we can. Okay, so for this, we're probably going to stamp it until we get just the perfect coverage on this side. So we'll go right here, stamp, then up a tad more. Oh, this will be just absolutely fun to copy-paste each of these to the other side. So let's rotate this one, this last one, and move it up. You know what? It's not going to look perfect. Let's just do this. It looks fine. And yeah, that doesn't look half bad, actually. That looks pretty good. So we're going to keep that. We're going to mirror those all to the other side. And let's see how it looks. Alright, I think we did it on that. Now, I might want to add a stripe to the bottom, so let's just do that real quick. I'll work on the sunny side of the car. Uh, we'll just scroll up here. Okay, so the mouse scroll wheel does help us with zooming. Anyway, let's add a vinyl shape, a square. We can't move vinyls with our mouse, which I would have loved to see. But I guess it makes it... That would be kind of OP Xbox compared to PC, and I think they want to make Forza seem... I think the reason the vinyl editing doesn't seem too much different is because they don't want the Xbox version to seem incapable compared to the PC version. That might just be me. Anyway, this looks good, and then just for help, we're going to put this right there. That way I can see where it ends over here. So this looks good for our stripe. And now on the back side of the stripe. So let me just mirror to this to the other side. On the back side of the stripe. We're going to put a little curve. So let's just grab ourselves a little circle. And we're going to make it yellow. And we're just going to throw that right over here. So literally as simple as that. That looks pretty good. Again, I don't think this will be perfect, but... It looks pretty good. I don't know. I don't like that curve, actually. Let's go for, instead of a circle, let's go for a square just angled. We'll do an angle. I don't know how good it will look, but we'll do an angle anyway. Rotate it. We'll just put it... Yeah, that looks good. And... We could just keep it like that. That actually looks great. Let's keep that. Now for the back. The back, I really want to do... I actually don't know what I want to do. Let me think again. 
Okay, I got it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little triangle shape on either side, and then we'll put triangles on each side. I wish I could, like, use hand motions to show y'all, but we're not doing face cams right now, so I guess I'll just have to make do. So we're just going to make this... Whoops. Going to do this. We're going to bring it... Whoops gonna bring it like that that actually looks good and then we'll move it and scale it down again all right and that's good so we'll do that we'll stamp it now we're just going to rotate it all the way around and make sure to get that even 90 degrees it still has that same issue. You can't just type in what degree you want. There we go. That's close enough. And we'll just place that one about even on the other side. Now for the middle, we'll do a... We're going to do a square rotated about 90 degrees. So... Oh, of course. There we go. 45 degrees, sorry. And we're just going to scale that down as well. And we're going to make this... Oh, it's not centered. Anyway, let's just... Close enough. And we're going to try our best to get this back to a perfect square. Alright, so we got the square placed. It looks pretty good. And now, I think... You know what? Remove it. I don't want it. Get rid of it. Nope. One second. Um, the easiest way to delete things really is just to uh, cut them all. There we go. Actually, the back might look good plain. It might be business in the front. Nothing in the back. And, uh, yeah, that might actually be better. But other than that, I think the vinyl came out looking good. Very easy to do. Quick. If you wanted to make a vinyl for yourself and you're not an expert, it's pretty easy overall for a design editor in general. I do like it. It seems to be better than EA's versions of it, but I definitely think there's room for improvement when you're not comparing it to others. Also, I think the PC version has much more room. For example, I feel like you should be able to move vinyls around with your and decals around with your mouse that would make things a lot easier and i feel like yeah that's basically all i need right now that thing's loud but i feel like that's all it really needs okay i feel like that's all it really needs as far as improvements i also think that the the xbox version could use some improvement as well I feel like there should be a way to move by degrees for all those symmetry people, or move 45 degrees, snap possibly. A snap feature would be nice. And, yeah, that's my thoughts on the Forza thing. Definitely PC's better, but not that much better by any means. Also, so for any of y'all considering it, I'd say it's worth installing it on your PC, but not just to do the vinyl feature. It's definitely better if you have a decent graphics card, but definitely not because of the vinyl feature. So, like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you all later. Bye.